What's up guys, SAG here. Welcome to another episode here of the Hamburg Career Mode. And in this episode, we are going up against VFL Bocum, one of the top teams in the race for the Bundesliga title. I'm really excited for this one here today. Hamburg and VFL will come at the Volkspark Stadion here in Hamburg. As in real life, it looks like Hamburg will not be, have a chance to be promoted, and VFL will come well. But in our career mode, that's going to change. We're going to we made the right signings. I'm feeling some promotion here. As Hamburg, they had a chance really in real life, but they choked it away. But we made many different signs. That could help change that. As they show, Anthony Losila will be hanging up the boots after this season. So this will be his last season at VFL Become. As we are excited to hear a look at that stadium. Just absolutely beautiful. I love what I can do a career mode with a team that has their stadium in the game. As here comes, here are the two teams shaking hands here. We are ready for this one. Here in Hamburg. And there's, uh, I believe, is that Sony Kittle? Yeah, Tiago Almeida and Josh Sargent. We're going to start with the uh, Hamburg lineup. Running at 4 2 3 1. They have uh, higher in this game here in Vogelman. We'll get the start right back. The regular pairing of Dudziak and Kinsabe, Jata Almeida. Kittle and Josh Sargent's getting to the start this game. It feels like I really want Josh Sargent to be that guy at our striker. Lucino Trier can just come in as a solid backup striker that can come in whenever needed. Ryman and Nett here for Bocum. Uh, Danilo, Lampadalos, Chibasa, Lasila, Zalz, Blum, Pentovich, and Gonvala down at the striker position. As we are ready to get underway, we played VFL Bocum before. We're about to play him again here as we are about to get underway here starting in the 14th minute. As Petrovic has it, he finds Zolj. Losila finding Ganova. Ganova has a chance and that's a nice block. Going back to Blum who is offside here. Early chance here for VFL Bocum. As Blum was just offside, he couldn't... Uh, Stop himself there as we move on here. Tim Leobold has it, finding Sony Kittle. Sony Kittle is going to go back to Tim Leobold. Nice job with by the wing play. Leobold, where is he going to look? He's going to look for Jata, and that's headed back out. Zalz is going to play the Gunvala. Gunvala still has it, finding Zalz. Back to Blum. Blum making a run for it here. Vogdeman. Trying to keep up with them. Jata needs to get back. Nice play to Blum. Blum is through here. What is he going to do? Vogneman chasing him around. Back to Danilo. Jata trying to get to Danilo, but Danilo gets passed through him. As Chibasa has it now. Cuts in. And he has a through ball to Danilo. Oh, that was a big chance there. As he just missed a target, and he was actually onside. Tried to hit it one time, but that was not going to go on target at all. Probably should have went across goal. Big chance for VFL will come early as we move on to the 31st minute here. Yashua Wagnerman finding Almeida, who can find Sony Kittle, and he does. Kittle. Here goes Kittle. Kittle's going to find Almeida. Tiago Almeida hits 1-0. He's been absolute world-class. One of the best players in the Bundesliga, too. Almeida just can't stop scoring with his pace. Absolutely world class. Nice job by Kittle cutting in and then finding Almeida. And Almeida, no no doubt, nice finesse finish. Rain to the bottom right corner for him and our bottom left. And from that view, look at that. Just opens up his foot and just finesses it. Rain to the corner. World class. Smithy's happy about that. 32nd minute. And that makes it 1-0. That's Almeida's 13th goal. Unbelievable. This is really a must-win game, as you know. VFL will come our first. We need to catch up to them in this episode. So we move on here to the 36th minute. As Hoyer is going to find a backer, Jata, and a Josh Sargent. And 
Once again, Tiago Almeida is making a run for it. Almeida is going to find Sony Kittle just before the defender gets there. Kittle. Kittle trying to cut in. Kittle still has it. Kittle with the strike. That's a nice save there. Trying to finesse it into the corner. And the keeper, Ganalva, doing a great job. As you can see, that's a great save there. Sorry, not Ganal, but Ryman. Ryman's in net. My apologies as we have a corner here in the 38th minute. Kittle to put it in. He's going to find Vandrol again. Oh, that was a big chance for Vandrol again there. Trying to make it 2-0. As we, that would be it for the half. It would end up ending, sorry, end up ending. It would end 1-0 here. Tiago Almeida with the goal for us in the 32nd minute. Always got off to good starts in games. We've been very good. And we do it again here against one of the best. VFL will come right now the best in the table here. As now we move on to the second half here. As we get underway. VFL will come. Going to retain possession to start off. As Zolj has it now. Zolj is going to play long to Pentrovich. Pentrovich cuts in. Can Tim Leobel get to it? Right now he's just waiting for Petrovic who plays it back. Here's Losila. Losila trying to get in here. Here comes the cross and the strike and it hits the post. That was a big chance there. I believe that's for Plum. And Halrick basically had no chance there. Hits the bar. And it remains 1-0 here in the 48th minute. Moving on to a few, only two minutes later, Almeida goes to find Kittle. Kittle finds Tiago Almeida. Sargent's going to switch up his run. Can Almeida find Sargent? Nope, he's going to strike, and that's an easy save there for Ryman. Eight minutes later, it's Almeida finding Bakary Jata. Hamburg doing a really good job offensively. Here goes Bakary Jata with the run. Bakary Jata with the strike. It's 2-0. The pace is too much. Bakary Jata getting a huge goal, putting us ahead by two. Giving us a bit of a cushion. And our defense has been world class this year. I could see a seal in this victory. No problem. See Jata making a run for it. That's a big time strike. That's Jata's fourth goal in the Bundesliga 2. 60 minutes in 2-0. Just big time. This team has been absolute world class offensively, and we've been winning the big games when we needed to. As moving on to the 70th minute, it's Al Hassan Yusuf who came in the game, finding Josh Sargent. Sargent's going to find Almeida. Almeida's in. That's another big save by Ryman, trying to keep it just at 2 0. That was a nice ball by Sargent. Almeida was pretty far out there, so it gave Ryman time to go over and make the save. As. In the 71st minute, still 2 0 here. Oh, made again right across. Look at the scenes there in Hamburg. Absolutely beautiful as the substitution is about to be made for a VFL will come. And Almeida to put it in the ball. Here is Vendrol again. This time he puts it away. Vendrol again gets a big goal and he finishes off this game. Makes it 3-0. Absolutely world class from Vendrell again. As you can see, Almeida puts in the ball. Vendrell again with the header. Keeper has no chance. A lot of power on that thing. Just absolutely great job. He's a big time aerial threat. As you can see, the keeper is really late to that. As it was a great strike. Rick Vendrell again. The youngster who's developing really well. He's part of our future at center back. That's his second goal in the Bundesliga 2. As it goes to 3-0 now. Moving on to the 90th minute here. The game's nearly over. VFL will come up a throw-in. Blum's going to find Genvala back to Blum. Nice play around here as Lucila finding Genvala. It's Northini. Nice turn. And that's a big finish there. It makes it 3-1. We will have no clean sheet. But this team, this one seems pretty much over. VFL will come getting a compensation goal. But we're going to get the win. 
as you can see that was a still a really good strike playing it in Novoli made a nice turn there and sorry Novante and that's his third goal in the Bundesliga too that was world class from him but it doesn't really matter as we are going to get the win 3-1. As you can see, it turned it over there. But it really doesn't matter. The Raps going to blow his whistle as he does now. Great win today, really, for Hamburg. And it's a big stepping stone towards promotion and the title. Beating a top-tier team like VFL will come. We're at home. We had to make a statement like we did with Erzvig A away and at home. That's a great job there from the boys. BFL would come not happy. Of course, their players not happy. They want to win the league title. We want to win the league title, though. So it ends 3-1. Novartis with their goal, but Almeida, Jata, and Van Drogen had sealed the game beforehand. Big win for Hamburg. As we move on here to the post-game uh, press conference, Again, we're looking fantastic. Big time win. And of course, we take pride in what we do. It was just absolutely fantastic from us. We're proving to be truly a Bundesliga team. And they say it's our game to call, but I know my guys. I know there are guys that are definitely easily Bundesliga tier type players. Like Tiago Amena, Rick Van Drillig. And as you can see here, we uh, complete the position change for Alfonso Ramos. And he goes a three overall. So that, I'm really happy about that. Now, I want to increase his pace. I'll have to increase his defensive work rate, but it is what it is. So we go into another game here to Sim against Hanover 96. We throw Neri and Jean and Yusuf in the lineup. We Sim it, and we end up only getting a 1-1 draw. Tiago made it with the goal for us, but again, we fail to get a result after getting a big one against VFL Bocum. It gives them a chance to overtake us in the table. So going to another game against Johan Regensburg. Not as good of a team. We get a 4-2 win this time. I put in the stars just to make sure we get this win. Josh Sargent has two. Kinsabe with one and Kittle with one. We did concede two goals. But, you know, we got the win. That's all that matters. We control the game, which is great to see. That's what I want to do. As we move on looking at the table we are actually top of the table now by one point VFL become failed to get a result seems like a two horse race now with Nunberg being 12 points behind VFL become now looking at the youth sky report Alfonso Ramos developing really well he could be the future of right mid Francisco Menzies only 15 years old at 64 overall he looks fantastic I can guarantee those two are going to be part of my future. We're going to promote Alfonso Ramos, right? Did we promote him? Oh, no. We just looked at his development plan. Oh, yeah. Uh, Sony Kittle's going to leave. So I was looking to um, change his position. Cam is a decent position because of his pace. But thinking about it, I think left mid's the go-to. Sony Kittle's about to leave. We can increase his pace. Let's get him to left mid. I really like what, he's, what he can do. He just needs to increase his pace a bit. Looking at Francisco Menzies, he's got some decent pace already. We're, he's becoming an attacking wide back. He's going to be great. He really is going to be great at fullback. Again, it takes time to develop these guys. And Menzies is only 15. That's the crazy part. He's basically got seven years of big time development to go. And that's fantastic. At least seven. As you can see, Josh Sargent is being nominated for player of the month. He's been really good. He started off really bad early in the season, but he started to develop as we accept the offer for uh, Jonas David uh, to go on loan. So moving on here, we have a game against FC Nuremberg, which I will play as we get a monthly scan report here. Can we get anyone big time here in Brazil again? Igor Neves, no. Alfonso Machado, no. Carlos Tevez, no. Francisco Gomes is a no. Rafael Cruz is a no. And Adriano Tavares will sign. Nothing too big there. As we go into our next game here against FC Nuremberg, there's Thiago Almeida, who has just been absolutely great. That's Robin Hack. As we are ready for this matchup between FC Nuremberg and Hamburg SV. We are back at home again here. 
at the Volkspark Stadion here for another Bundesliga 2 matchup here against Nuremberg. Really exciting as we are coming down the home stretch, ladies and gents. This is exciting. We can really start to establish ourselves in this game as a title team. It's a race between us and VFL become, and I'm really excited. But really ending Nuremberg's chances of promotion, automatic promotion or a title would be big. And I think we could do it right here by increasing the gap. Josh Sargent, two goals in his last match. He was absolutely fantastic against Regensburg. Again, that's not as good of a team, but Josh Sargent picking up form is crucial for us, really. As you can see him there, been absolutely fantastic. There's Smithies there, the two teams shaking hands here, getting ready for this one. And really, this has just been an exciting team. Again, as I said always, we're a Bundesliga team, straight up. As you can see, Tim Leopold there, Kinsambe. Dudziak, Bakary Jata, Kittle, Almeida, and Josh Sargent in the lineup. Feels like he's become my clear-cut striker. I'm going to really invest in him more than Lucina Trier. Lucina Trier will be a great backup, though. Guy Marbro is going to get a starting start at the right-back position. Other than that, nothing too new. I really liked Hoyer at the other center back. Gideon John's pretty good, too. But I feel like in the next season, we're going to get a center back. That's going to be one of our main positions in need. We're going to invest in someone... That is going to be big time for the future. As you can see, they're running a 4-2-2-2. Uh, four, two, two, two. Robin Hack there at, at uh, basically Cam, you could say. It's a weird formation. Basically playing six people all the way back and four people all the way front. You could say Hack is really the left mid there. or It's kind of a weird one. But I guess maybe it's like a 4-4-2 four, four, holding or flat. Maybe flat. As we get underway here, Dudziak has it finding Sony Kittle. Here comes Tim Leopold. Just playing it around here. As Thiago made it, getting his first touch of the game. And that was almost turned over by Gamarva. Here's Jeremy Dudziak. Dudziak and Kinsambe are both developing really well. Dudziak has Josh Sargent. Here goes Josh Sargent. It's Josh Sargent. It's 1-0. What a ball. What a finish. Josh Sargent in the early going, and he wants more. He's been picking up form and picking up goals. What a ball by Dudziak. And just like that, it's 1-0. Nice one, and then two. Nice finish just before the keeper gets there. Sargent with the left foot. That is absolutely world class there. And that's what we've been working on. Fantastic goal for Hamburg SV. And again, early on, we are just dominating this one here. Josh Sargent with only a seventh goal, but a lot of them have come lately as we move on here. Making a 1 0 against FC Nuremberg. You can see there, showing the goal there by Josh Sargent. As Nuremberg just playing it around here is Behrens. And Turen, they're showing Dusseldorf. Definitely not doing that well this season. Only in the 8th place. They're a really good team. They just got relegated from the Bundesliga. Here's Kapoke. Kapoke with the strike, and Ulrich makes a big save there. Keeping it at 1-0. We can't let down our guard. We're a great defensive team, but we have to keep on. I don't know how he got that strike off, but Ulrich luckily was all over that. It'll be interesting what we do with Ulrich, with Winkler coming up the system. Maybe we just keep Ulrich for one more year, and then Winkler becomes the starting keeper as Tiago Almeida's going. Tiago Almeida still has it. Almeida's going to play the long ball to Sony Kittle. Here goes Sony Kittle. He's on the break. What a counter. Kittle with the strike. That is absolute world class from Kittle. Unreal. He will definitely be missed when he goes to Watford, man. He's going to be great there. I'm excited to bring someone new in, though. But look at this ball to Sony Kittle. One, two, three, right in the top corner. Keeper had no shot at it. This is absolutely world class. What a strike. My goodness. Unreal. As the manager celebrating here, we are dominating early against Nuremberg. 
really just showing who we are as a top team in the Bundesliga 2. Hopefully about to be a Bundesliga team. Because it feels like we're if we win this game, we have promotion in the bag, really. If I'm going to be honest, it's just the league title. As Thiago Almeida has it here in the set, 21st minute. Here's Josh Sargent back to Almeida. Almeida's going to look for Sargent. Here goes Josh Sargent. Sargent still has it. Sargent's going to cut in. Josh Sargent with the strike. That's a big save there. Actually, no, sorry, it wasn't saved. It went wide. Sargent having a big chance there. And, <laughs> well, I don't think he even really needed to finesse it. He could have just really put it right into the corner. But it remains 2-0 for now in the 23rd minute. As we move on here, we have a goal kick here. Playing long. Tadziak wins the header. Here's Sony Kittle. Back to Almeida. Almeida's going to find Kinsambe. Back to Bakary Jata. Jata finding Sargent. Sargent, he's going to look for Jata. It's Bakary Jata. Jata with the strike. Oh, right at the keeper. Should have done way better with that. Nice one, too, there by Jata and Sargent. As we get the ball back here off the goal kick. Hoyer now finding Gaimara. Gaimara's going to find Kinsambe. Here's Gaimara. Playing it around here. Sargent has Thiago Almeida. Here goes Thiago Almeida. Poor job by the center back. It's Thiago Almeida. It's 3-0. That's going to be game. Hamburg just dominating. That 1-2 partnership of Almeida and Sargent are just unstoppable. Unbelievable. I think that's Almeida's like 15th goal. Absolute world class. Nice ball there. And Almeida just gets it, gets the strike off before the keeper gets there. That's just beautiful to watch. Take a bow, Tiago Almeida, because that was great. And Smithy's happy about that. Just fantastic. Tiago Almeida, his 15th goal. It's 3-0. Here as the two teams getting back to regular positions. We would end up winning this game 3-0. Absolutely great performance. Almeida, Kittle, and Sargent with the goals. Just fantastic, really. As we just finished off Nuremberg's chance of getting automatic promotion, if I'm going to be honest. At least, or at least the title. At least so. Maybe VFL becomes, starts playing terrible as Lucas Kruger switches positions from right wing to right mid. But surprisingly, he doesn't even go up in rating. I might need to, I need to call a lot up more of these guys and just start loaning them out. As we go up in our next sim game, it's FC St. Pauli. The Cena, Triary, and Alisson, Yusuf, and Gideon John are all getting starts here. Same with Felix Agu. And we still end up getting a 3-1 win. We rotate the squad. We get a win. That's what I'm talking about. Almeida, Jata, and Dudziak with the goals. Dudziak's been really good lately. Same with Almeida, who has 16 goals. Definitely leading in the Golden Boot race. As we move on here, we have another game here against SC Paderborn. As you can see in the standings, in the table, we're starting to distance ourselves a bit here from VFL Bacom. We aren't really getting the results they need. We go with the full starting lineup here. We end up getting a big 2-1 win. We really dominate in possession. Hoyer and Kinsambe with the goals. Their only uh, strike, sorry, only shot was from Jester Mbowski in the 87th minute, who did end up scoring there making it 2-1, but we really dominated that game. Big win for us. Just now we're seven points up, but VFL will come have a game to play, but still distancing ourselves a bit here. And at the same time, we are 18 points up uh, from Nuremberg, and they uh, end up not even getting a result. Now we have youth players unsettled, so if we have a player unsettled, unless they're really bad, I'm just gonna call them up. Lucas Kruger's unsettled, so I'm gonna call him up and probably get him out on loan. And who's the other one? Uh, hand hide? He, he doesn't look bad. He is 17 years old. We're going to end up promoting him to the full, the first team. We're going to see a lot of that with the Youth Academy. Now we're six points up in the table. Uh, as you can see, I'm just sorting them out here. Um, Lucas Kruger. Uh, transfer list them. I just think I can't develop them, really. Uh, Cartwig, we're going to let go of. I'm um, just looking at some of the other guys on loan. They're just not developing it up. Brian Han, on the other end, doesn't look that bad. Let's get him out on loan next year. Maybe he can develop into something. There's Prince on Sage. 
Oh, now they're going up too. Uh, Bates is going to get let go of. Uh, Ambrosla doesn't look bad. I'm definitely going to uh, look to re-sign him soon. I think I do it in this episode. As we are just simming days through here. As you can see, VF will become only getting a point in their next game. That's pretty big. And Nuremberg only not even winning. Giving Ayers Big A a chance to really try to uh, come up in the stings. We win the manager of the month. We look at our youth squad report here. Uh, Francisco Menzies goes up a rating. He's 81 to 84. That just shows his potential is great. He's going to be fantastic for us. Already went up a rating this month. I can't wait to call him up. Uh, Hoffman doesn't look that bad. As again, we were just looking around. But I, that Francisco Menzies and Alfonso Ramos are the main guys I'm looking at. Because, you know, they are the standouts in my youth scouting reports. As uh, we get an offer for the Bulgarian manager job, we say no. We Then we have another youth squad report available. Garcia is a no. Garcia here again is a no. Uh, Arejo, no. Uh, Dennis Morris, no. Well, I was considering, but Alex Cruz, 2.3 million. It looks like he has great potential. You know, he has, probably has a great rating. So we're signing him right away. We're going to say no to Dennis Morris. And it looks like we just hit on another big time youth player. As we send our scout out on a new mission. I think I sent him to England for six months. Let's try to find him in the next Jade and Sancho. You could say. As we take a look at. I want to take a look at Alex Cruz. See how good he is. As it looks like he's a 63 overall. He's got some great potential. He's a winger. Again he doesn't have that much pace. Which kind of sucks. But he has great good dribbling. Great passing. Looks fantastic. I'm looking. Maybe I can switch positions with him. Maybe put him to a camp. He can't really go to a striker. But I th I think I kept him in the same place. Yep. And we're just going to make... Again, we're just trying to get his pace up. That's the most important thing. Then the technical skills can come up later. But you got to be... Being fast is one of the most important things for the first. We go into another game here against Grethier Firth. When real life could possibly be promoted automatically. And we had a 1-0 win. Tiago Almeida getting a big goal late to give us the win. And we're starting to pick up results to try to get this championship sealed. Simon Games, absolutely exciting. So now we're going to go into some contract negotiations with Ambrose. I was talking about him. So we're going to renew his contract. He only has four months left. And I'm looking to loan him out after this. Maybe we can get developed into something great. And he can be part of the rotation. As Gideon John and Hoyer are likely to leave after this season. At least Gideon John will for sure leave. And Van Drolligan is the only one that's guaranteed to stay. He wants a release clause. I'm going to say no to that. Um, I definitely don't want to let him go on a release clause here. Uh, and he's probably going to develop. So looking here. Uh, let's go with the Moss 5k. 40,000 signing bonus. That should be fine with him. He accepts that. Okay, I don't want to pay him like nothing. But I don't want to give him a bunch of money. We go into our next game. I'm bringing out the big time stars, even against Wurzburg. And we draw. Wurzburg pull out a draw. We dominated the game, but we couldn't get a goal. Seems like they've had our number all year. And they're terrible. They're probably getting relegated. As now we look in the table to end off this episode. We are first. Eight points up, ladies and gentlemen. BF up a comment second. Nuremberg's starting to pick up some results, trying to come back and maybe seal, try to get some automatic promotion. There's Big A and Darmstadt, and uh, Sandhausen look like they have a chance at that playoff game, too. So, guys, uh, oh yeah, we're just looking down the sayings here. Kiel, there's some mid table teams. Um, and it looks like Wurzburg, uh, Pauli, and, uh, War yeah, Wurzburg, St. Pauli, and uh, Regensburg, and Brush Riggs. Or down at the bomb. So in the next episode, we're gonna try to at least finish out uh, the season. We have the DFB Pokal against Hertler Berlin in the semifinals, and maybe we make it to the finals. I really hope so, so we can get you some Europa League football next year. So as always, thank you guys for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe, and as always, have a great day.